batteries increases, so does the demand for lithium, obviously. Yes. For more on his company's plans to operate the largest lithium mine in North America, we're joined in studio by Peter Secker. He is the CEO of Canada Lithium Corporation. It is good to see you. Are these the kind of companies that you sell to, will sell to? Uh, initially, we will sell mainly to the Asian market. The Asian market is growing far quicker than either the European or the North American market. Mm -hmm. But eventually, as, as the North American consumption increases, then yes, we are very close to North America. We're very, very close to the, the Detroit facilities with 14 hours drive from the manufacturing uh, base that, that's going to be developed there. So yes, we, we're close to there, we're close to markets. But we're also close, close to Port of Montreal, so we can get our containers onto uh, boats of Montreal and into the European and Asian markets. Great. So, some beginners, how do you mine lithium and what is the pricing mechanism for it? Okay, you, mining is just a simple open cut mining method, so you just dig it out of the ground, put it through a processing plant, and it's, it's a five day process. By the time you mine it and process it, produce a, a high grade, a quality 99.5% lithium carbonate, that five day process then get it to port uh, and obviously to, to markets. Mm. Pricing is by negotiation. So it's negotiated annually, and typically contracts last for three to five years. Uh, and, you, and you have a, a number of, of end users that you supply through marketing companies. So we have a marketing agreement with Mitsui, and Mitsui will market our products initially into Asia, China, Korea, and Japan, and then as we grow into, into Europe and to North America. How have the prices been trending over the years? Significant growth. If you look at prices in 2004, they were trading Lithium at about, uh, <coughs> let me think, about $2,000 a ton. Uh, they hit a peak of $8,000 a ton just before the, uh, the adjustment mm -hmm. and now trading around $6,500, $6,600 a ton for, for a high grade 99.5% product. So your mine in northern Quebec were, is being touted as potentially the largest lithium mine in North America. What, how, how much potential do you think it has? Okay, we, we have a significant resource. We, we have a, a 30 million ton measured indicated resource. We have a, a 40 million ton inferred resource, so a total of 70 million tons, enough to supply 20% of the market for the next 50 years. So a large resource, easy uh, infrastructure. We have Val d'Or just to the south with its airport and its, its uh, 25,000 population. A history of mining in central and northern Quebec and strong support from local and provincial government to get the project up and running. We'll eventually have 160 jobs on site that will be a significant employer in the, in the local community. So uh, you've been working on this for a time. How long have you been working on the project and when does it come into production? Okay, we've been working on it for the last three years. Many metallurgical test work to make sure that the quality is good. Uh, also resource estimation, uh, engineering studies. So we've just released our pre-feasibility study that came out last week that shows that we can produce lithium carbonate battery grade for about uh, $2,800 a ton and selling into the $6,000 a ton market, so a nice profit margin. Uh, we will finish a bankable study by the end of this year. Uh, we want to be in construction by second quarter 2011, so basically a year from now, and then producing lithium carbonate on site by third quarter, fourth quarter 2012. So by the time some of those dates roll around, there will be other players on the market. There are there's South American lithium mines and so on. Are you concerned about losing market share as they get in first? No, we're, we're uh, very confident that we're going to be the first of the North American producers. We're going to be the first of, of the Americas. The, the, uh, the new products coming out of South America are probably three to five years away. So we'll be there first to market. Uh, and it comes again down to quality. We, we have a very, f very pure product that will we'll meet Japanese, Korean battery specifications easily and therefore we'll sell that easily into the Asian market and then Europe and, and North America. You are, uh, your company is listed on the Venture Exchange here. Right. It is, gee, it was up 4% yesterday and up 171% over the past 52 weeks. <laughs> How do you feel about that? We feel very happy about that. Uh, it's, it's all driven by expectations of growth over the next five to ten years. If, if you look at cell phones, they consume four or five grams of lithium. A car consumes between 15 and 20 kilograms of lithium. So consumption numbers over the next five years will grow as, as electric vehicles grow. Appreciate you coming into the studio to tell us your story. Thank you so much. We'll keep track of Canada Lithium Corporation. We've been joined by the CEO, Peter Secker, in studio. Busy couple of hours we've had here.